Hi, it's Mia, and I'm back with another video for Montessori at Home Exercise. <laughs> But before we jump right into the exercise, I just want to share some common assumptions that I always hear from parents. Usually I always hear parents saying, my child is really smart because he can count one up to 100 at the age of two. Or they would say, my child is really smart because he can count one up to 1000 at the age of three. Oops. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Mm -mm, mm. Did they really mean counting? Like the child understands each number from 1 up to 100 and the child knows the value of each number, the quantity of each number. Is that what they really mean? Or um, they just meant rote counting? Because uh, let me just be clear about about counting, okay? Because um, parents, sometimes they have a misconception or misunderstanding with the word counting itself, counting and quantifying with rote counting. Because when you say rote counting from the first word itself, rote, that means it is a process of learning something with the repetition or by repetition rather than understanding what it really means and another thing if your child is able to road count that is never a measure of your child's intelligence or any other child's intelligence okay so please stop comparing your children okay, i have a question i just have a question if your child can road count numbers from 1 unto 100 or more, does your child or is your child able to really quantify the numbers? And is he able to really understand the value of it? Let me know your answers in the comment section. But if you just answered no, then keep watching. The exercise that I'm going to show you today is the next lesson or the next exercise that I just showed you with the numbers, the canvas numbers on a card. That's the first exercise because you're explaining or you're showing to your child the shape and the names of each number from zero to nine. And this exercise, we are going to show the child how to count and quantify the numbers. Now for our materials. Let's not forget our personal working space. We will have our own placemat. You can use newspaper if you don't have any rags or rugs. You can use used t-shirt. You can use anything as long as it serves as your personal working space. And I have my pistachio shells here. Remember this from my second episode? Yes, I have a total number of 45 pistachio shells in this container. And you will see why it has to be 45, not 44, not 46, 45. Then I made this. I just used an old box cover, you see? And then I used four, uh, nine strings to make the divider or the compartment of each number. And I wrote numbers from 0 to 9. And then that's it. It's quite easy to make. And you can also make your own. Make your own variation and start showing this exercise with your child. Today we're going to count numbers. Can we say the names of the numbers first? 0, 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Good. Now I have some shells here, and we're going to put the shells in each of the number. Are you ready? Okay. This is zero. Zero means nothing. We don't put a shell here because zero means nothing. Okay. Now this is one. Let's put one there. Two. Can you count with me? One. Two. Good. Now, three. One. Two. Three. Good. Now, four. One. Two. Three. Four. Now, five. Let's count five shells. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, Two, three, four, five, six. Next is seven. Let's count seven shells. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. Next, eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Nice. And the last is nine. Let's count nine shells. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yay! And let's have a look here. Look, there's no more shells in the container. That means the container is empty and there's nothing inside. So it's zero yay very good now let me show you how to clean up the material can you watch first whoopsie
Oopsie, again. And that's it. Thank you for joining me today. And that is how you present the variation of the spindles exercise. Also, if you guys wanted to reach me through other social media accounts, you can reach me through Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. If you're going to try this exercise or have tried any of the exercises I've shared, please let me know how it went. And please don't forget to give my video a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye.